Hello, I'm Lily, and in this video, I'm going to explain projectile motion using FET simulation. And I put the link for the simulation in the description part. So first, I want to say, what's a projectile? Whenever you throw something or you drop something, as soon as you let it go, the only force acting on your object is gravity. A projectile is anything that flies, but the only force acting on it during the flight is the gravitational force, which is a downward force. So let's look at this example. Right now I'm going to shoot a cannonball and see if its motion is a projectile motion. So I said I put it on slow so we can see the motion better. I said no air resistance and I start just shooting that. You see as soon as it leaves, as soon as it leaves this object, it, there is no force acting on this cannonball except for gravity. See? In all its motion, we have only gravity acting on that. So we can say this motion is a projectile motion. Let's look at another example. Right now, let's look at another simulation of FED. Just I reset that and we want to see if this motion is a projectile motion or not. So as you can see here, we use some fuels. So because we are using fuel, so it means the only force acting on this object is not just gravity. So we can't put this object in category of projectile. Right now, one more time, we look at this. Okay, right now I want to increase the amount of force moving upward. When I apply some thrust force, it goes upward, and you can see the only force acting again is not just gravity, so it's not projectile motion. As you can see, when we have a projectile motion, and we talked about that, the only force acting on object is gravity. And gravity is a downward force. So it means According to Newton's second law that we say sigma f or f net equal mass times acceleration, because the only force acting on object is downward and it's gravity, so it means the only acceleration of this object is downward acceleration. So we know Newton's second law, sigma f, equal m a and we know if we have f y we can say f y equal m a y and f x or i can say sigma f y and sigma f x equal m a x and as you can see in projectile motion The only force acting on object is gravity. And you know gravity is downwards. Or I can say it's our Fy. So it means we have a y that is, is not equal zero. So as a result, Vy or component of velocity at direction of y is not constant. But in projectile motion, you know that sigma fx is equal to zero. As a result, your ax is equal to zero. As a result, we can say vx is a constant number so you it means your the component of velocity the direction of x is constant let's look at simulation one more time 
Okay, again, we are on fit simulation. Just I put here, I click on velocity vectors. I don't want acceleration for now. Just I want to see velocity vector. So as soon as and I put it on slow, I shoot this one and we look at this. So this is a vector of velocity. And you know, when you have this vector, definitely you can find the component of velocity, the component of this vector that we have Vx and Vy. So if you want to look at the component, you see you have Vx and Vy. Right now, I want to uh, replay this one. This time, just we focus on our Vx. And we want to see if we have any change in our Vx. Okay. And I put component and so just we look at Vx or, okay, you see the amount of Vx all the way of flight stays the same. Why? Because sigma fx is equal to zero. Because there is no force, the direction of x acting on the object. So when there is no sigma fx, it means ax is equal to zero. So it means uh, the component of velocity in the direction of x doesn't change and it stays the same. We replay this one, but this time we want to focus on y component of velocity. Okay, so we see a y component when we shoot the object is upward and then going up and you see it become the magnitude become smaller. It means Vy is not constant and it's decreasing. Why is decreasing? Because if we look at the acceleration vector, acceleration is downward. The object moving upwards, but the direction of acceleration is downward. They are opposite direction. So it means the velocity of the object is decreasing. So again, I play this one, you see it decreasing. But Vx, you see, still stay the same, but Vy becomes smaller and smaller. And here is almost zero. And as soon as Vy is equal to zero, the object changing its direction and going downward. But right now when the object moving downward, you see the direction of acceleration and the direction of motion of object is the same. So it means Vy of object is increasing. So let's see if it's right. So look at this green arrow that is showing our Vy. So what's the conclusion? In projectile motion, the x component of velocity stays the same, but the y component keep changing. Why? Because we have a force downward acting on the object and that force is gravity. Let's look at the acceleration as well because we know the only force on the object is gravity. We want to see if acceleration is changing. So right now we don't look at velocity, just we look at the acceleration. So you see the amount of acceleration is almost the same and is equal G. Let's summarize what we learned. So when we talk about projectile motion, it means the only force acting on object is its weight or gravity. So if y equal w or weight, and if x is equal to zero. According to Newton's second law, when f is zero, it means a is zero. So f x equals zero, it means a x is equal to zero according to Newton second law. Okay, um, but f y is not equal to zero, it's actually equal w and we know w is equal m g. 
and if y actually is equal m a y so as a result so a y equal g for projectile motion in addition remember we usually show initial velocity of object by u that definitely has two components ux and uy and final velocity with v that again we have vx and vy and we remember that as ax equals zero it means vx is equal ux is equal constant so we don't have any change in x component however because we have acceleration a y so v y keep changing how we can find u x u y v x and v y it's the subject of another video i hope uh, this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching